to say thank you to the fathers of our country and the Pangu Party that I currently am privileged to lead. At 1975, it was their clear policy not to alienate land from our people, but people must still have right to their land use, land rights. And people today sit in the land. Today our government it is no secret. Papua New Guinea known as one of the earliest agriculture site in the world. If you go up to Cook, Cook is established as the amongst the first agricultural site, globally speaking, the World Heritage Site. We now as a government target that this sector, within the next seven years, in fact through the life of this plan, must have contributed 30 billion kina to the economic growth of our country, must create one jobs, and in fact in the 2030s, must be on our way to give two million jobs to our people. And the pessimist amid us will think it is, not it is not possible. But I'd like to be on the side of the optimist, to think that it is a sector. And when you ask me, where do I find these one million people? Today, these one million family are already in food production for subsistence lifestyle. They're already in the food production to eat their cassava, their, ta their tapioca, uh, the, their taro, their yam, their cocoa, their banana, their kumu. Little extra they to the market if market is closer. So they're already in the food product and business. They're already in the space. Let us make it now more commercial for them and government bringing market closer to them. Guess what? Our government is, has not been just talking. We have delivered on our freight support policy. We have it in place, and we have a price support policy. But I must admit that the mechanics of making it work has been disjointed. It is now incumbent upon Minister Boito, Planning Minister from Prime Minister's Department to tidy to make sure the freight support and the price support gets to work so that our people are compensated or rewarded with accessibility to market and getting good reward for the effort in commercial agriculture. I cannot get any clearer than uh, this one. Yesterday, I had the, uh, the opportunity to talk to my central agency departments, finance planning, treasury, and prime minister's department. And I, to I told them, we are not doing enough. You don't need prime minister to continue on standing on the podium talking about what must be done. I, talk, I indicated what must be done in 2019. Today, it must be system go. We are working, we are producing, we are delivering on outcomes. At this plan, better late than never, at least we're delivering something today. I would have wished it was done in 2020. COVID-19 came in, that's all of our excuses. I would have wished we have done it in 2021 or 2022 but we are doing it today in 2024. Let's get up. We have no time to waste. Let's get up. Find these one million people and let's get up, get going. They are sitting on the land. Let's unbundle them. Is that okay? And I want to ask, the governor of our nation's capital can be excused. He's got no agricultural land. Only him can be excused. And I want to ask all the 21 provincial members of governors, if you come to Waigani asking me for money for your districts or your, uh, for your provinces, equally find me people who can get engaged in agriculture in your provinces. Because someone needs to be producing. Someone needs to be producing for economy so that the tax man collects to redistribute of us. I want to ask all our 21 governors, pick up a copy of this plan. And if you do not know where to start, find me vacant land that your people can lease to agriculture, or your people can get into agriculture, and we will partner you. That is the easiest. When Governor Baird was talking about where is job creation, I put to him Pangu and this government's and Papua New Guinea's definition of job creation. Whilst the formal seven to five jobs and eight to four or six jobs in the public sector is something that we could expand also. But the easiest, quickest, better place is to migrate people from 
not doing anything to the CAS economy in the agricultural livestock space ASAP. The easiest, quickest. My definition of job is not uh, sitting behind a designation. I'd rather have Papua New Guineans who are earning money wherever they are from the God-given natural resources, land, forestry, fisheries, tourism, etc., culture in our own, own, own country. And agriculture is the space. Two days ago, I was talking to the oil prime minister. Again, he is not appointed just to, for us to make ourselves feel good. He has been in the oil palm business for all his life. He tells me his hundred hectares of land earns his family 100,000 kina to 150,000 kina a fortnight. Did you get this? Did you get this? Those of you in Wagani slaving out from 8 to 406, did you get this amount? Do you want money? You like money? You you lending your you borrowing money to live your life as a public servant? You get this thirty six. He was telling me, in a fortnight, in a fortnight, from his hundred thousand hectares of land, he earns hundred thousand to hundred and fifty thousand kina for his family. Did you get this number? Why are you all sitting staring back at me? You like money or you like money? Most of us are wasting time in employment, the money or the We want to link our people to earn money from Is that okay? That's where we all grow the grow economy. That's where we make our people being productive. If the Honorable Manake can be earning this sort of money from just a hundred thousand acres of land a fortnight, I want more of you who own land in East and West New Britain, in Manus, in Bougainville, in the Roman Plains, in the Civic Plains. In 2021, I gave, the rest of the government gave 5 million kina to East Civic Province of Government to map out the entire Civic Plain, over 1 million hectares of grassland doing nothing. Yet talk, we all talk, like James Marape, but work we hardly do. And so I just want to appeal to all of us. Let's no more talk now. This sector plan, has good ambition, good target. Let's get into doing. National government will try absolute best in whatever form, whether it's road or lending fund or seed fund or trade support fund or transport fund. We will mobilize up to a billion kina to inject into this sector to get agriculture up and running. I just need the districts and the provinces to find me the families and the land, and we will work to get productivity in PNG up and running in this space. Because I believe that this is the easiest place for us to migrate people right now doing nothing into productive life. And I want to say, we've started already. I want to give you some indicators in my note here. Since we took office in 2019, we have experienced in the stop, stop, start, stop, uh, and manner in which but our focus on agriculture, we have increased 35% export earning from agriculture since 2019. But much more work can be done. We've introduced programs like freight support and price support that we want to expand on so that it can be anchored deeper. 2020, COVID-19 came in in 2020, we introduced freight and assisted bringing back producers from the islands in Fort And so these are work that we've started. And I want to encourage all of us, let's not sit back and wait as this is launched today. Let's get up, get up. I want to appeal to all of you in the agricultural sector. Get up, get going, and let's do the reform. Is that okay? Yes. All right, thank you so much.